In this video, we will install Windows operating system on a Hetzner dedicated server using KVM console. Hetzner provides the option to install Windows, but for that you have to purchase a license from Hetzner. If you want to use a trial license or your own license, then you have to use KVM console to install Windows. First of all, we need to get KVM access. For that, click on the support under your server. Then click on remote console. Then you can ask for KVM access. Select the time duration. Then ask them to insert a Windows ISO file. Click on send request. After that, Hetzner will provide KVM access. Let's log into the KVM. Enter the username and the password. Click on login. Click on connect. We are not getting any video from the server. Maybe we need to reboot the server. Click on surveys. Then click on the server name. Click on reset. Then execute automatic hardware reset. Click on send. Now go back to the console. To get the boot menu, press F8. Keep pressing F8 until you get the menu. We have the boot menu. We need to boot from the USB drive. Jet flash transcend 16 GB. Press enter. Now the server is booting from the USB drive. We got the install screen. Here we can select the language. Click on next. Install now. Now you need to select the version you need to install. First is Windows Server 2019 Standard Edition that have no GUI. The second option is Desktop Experience. Select that. Click next. Accept the terms of license. Click on custom install. Here we have a previous installation. So there is lot of partitions. I will delete these partitions. I have no data in the server. So I am deleting these partitions. Delete partition 3. Part, click on partition 2. Click on delete. OK. Then the recovery. Delete that also. Now we have two disks. Disk 0 and disk 1. We will install Windows on disk 0. Click on Click on disk 0, then click on next. So the Windows installation have been started. Copying file will take some time. I will pause the video now and resume once the installation is completed. The installation almost finished. We need to select a password for user administrator. Enter the password two times, then click on finish. The installation is completed. You can press Ctrl Alt Delete to unlock the screen. On the KVM, there is a button. Click on the button. Now enter the password. Let's see if internet is working. Take CMD, start, then type CMD. Take the command prompt, ping google.com. We are getting response, so it should work. Let us close this. Now go to local server, IE enhanced security configuration, turn it off. If you don't turn it off, you will get lot of prompt when using the Internet Explorer browser. So turn it off. Now take the browser. Let us see if websites are working. Google.com. Let's download Google Chrome and install it. Accept and install. Run. Now the Chrome is installing. Now we have Google Chrome. Pin it. Right click and pin to taskbar. Let's see if we can connect to the server using RDP. This is the server IP. Let's see if Telnet to RDP port works. 3389. It is not working. So we need to enable remote desktop. PowerShell. Run as config. Remote desktop is disabled now. Select option 7. Then type E for enable. Press enter. Now it asks for the devices. We will select option 2. That is insecure but support more devices like uh, Linux desktop, press 2 and it is enabling remote desktop now. Let's see if we can connect to the port now. Uh, it is responding. So let's take t remote desktop client and we will create a new connection. Let's get the server IP address, paste it here. Username is administrator, password. Now we can save and connect. We are now logged into the server. So the RDP is working properly. 
Thank you for watching. Hope you find the video useful. If you like the video, please subscribe for more videos like this.